Hey guys, and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. As always, I'm Demonfire93, and last time we got the gold token for the High Priestess, and today we're going to start the Hermit. Now the Hermit is one of those that's a pain. Rumor has it there is a powerful magician hidden in a devilishly confusing and dangerous forest of eternal snow. Finding your way is one thing, knowledge where to go is another. Avoid danger using map reveal. Explore the road ahead may be long. Ensure you have enough food to avoid starvation and empire. Prepare for combat against the empire. Well, I think... Let's see. Uh, I really wish I could read what the heck that says. It's kind of hard, but to complete the world to unlock, I can't see what what that third thing is. I mean, you have armor break, huge success, and something. Melee tank? Is that what that says? Melee fighter, retry precision, combo attack. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we need. Uh, I think we'll just go with Mal for this one. <clears throat> I know we could, you know, get Ares' new thing. If we put her in, we could put this token in from this card with the token in. Or same with uh, Estrella or Colbjorn here, but, you know. We're just gonna stick with Mal because he's doing very well with us. <clears throat> uh, we got some of these new ones. Uh, I don't know why No Wish Exchange wasn't showing up for me, so we're gonna put that in. Goblin Retainer in. Um, where Man of the World? That's gonna be necessary for this one. <clears throat> um, let's see. We need things that will reveal the map. Will reveal the map, not cartographer that will pay us for having the map revealed. Fork in the road will be one of those that will reveal the map. One drunken night we could always try again. <laughs> uh, scouting party will reveal the map. Watchtower will reveal map. Uh, Waterfall of Youth is always great to have in there. And if we do that, we could also put in the Winter Solstice to possibly get some blessings used to donate a blessing for a shard. <clears throat> and, oh, we need stuff that's food. Right, completely forgot about that. I probably should have been putting those in instead. Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lies. Or Tarts, Pie. Yeah, ta yeah. I read that right. Um, and then what else will get us food? I mean, the friendly innkeeper. Yeah, we'll do that. So, we're going after the steel, huh? Well, this will help with that. So will this. I think. Complete the Empress with this item to unlock the token, huh? Wait, what? Create a corrupted pool when activated. Enemies hit with it within the, while in the pool receive 120%. Oh, ow. Enemies while they block, susceptible to evade, cannot repose. I guess, yeah, we'll put that in. Why not? Uh, Marksman's Bane. Bastion. I guess that card is one of your favorites. I don't see the appeal. No, you don't see the appeal of the most powerful shield in the game. I mean, not most powerful, but most offensive shield in the game. Really? No, no, no. Under shield reflect. Um, shield reflect. This shield does not reflect. So I guess you're right. Maybe we'll put in Valent Aegis. Eat less. Adds one weapon charge. What? Every third step does not consume food. Or reveal two random encounters at the start. Okay, let's do that, because that'll reveal things. Create an aura that lasts 60 seconds. Sure, why not? An empire burden. We could try that too. 
Lionheart, that's a new thing. Jousting armor is new. Uh, bar boot is a reveal. Dark Grove Ring's a new one. Uh, Ring of Food is a new one. Or not a new one, but it's a useful one. Uh, we're going to want to start with some food. Reveal shops. Uh, I guess we'll start with the Chieftain's Axe and Healing Sprites. Healing's always good. <clears throat> okay. So the Hermit. This is a big map. I have spent more time alone than any hermit could imagine. Really? In truth, it you is are the your origin of hermits. That leaves these cards occupied by such commoners. <laughs> Told you it's a big map. You the see devilish the forest. Moves again. Yeah. We have much to learn from each other at this point. So the goal is to not reveal all the cards because all the cards on this map are terrible. Like, 80% of them will hurt you or hinder your progress. And so you want to get to the Hermit or the next level as quick as possible. So we're not going to be exploring the whole map. While exploring the wildlands, you arrive quite suddenly at the fringes of a curiously enchanted winter forest. Where you stand, it is warm. It is a warm summer afternoon. Yet only ten steps away, the cedars are gray with frost, and the ground is blanketed in thick snow. Horrendous. You turn in surprise to find Malaclips, but it is not he who spoke. The General of Steel. An Empire General is in an, in an impressively plumed helm approaches you. A sizable company of Empire soldiers are arrayed behind him. Horrendous, isn't it? This smear of obstinate mage filth staining the land. You and your squire, he glances at Malclips, should leave. This frozen waste is no place for common folk. The ground changes underfoot and the blizzards tear your skin to shreds. This is also why I picked Mal, because he's also a mage, and so he'll kind of have a, uh, he's a kindred spirit with the uh, hermit who is a mage. He just and his troops split into small parties and head into the wasteland. He turns to you and bows deeply before following the last party in. Never fear, citizen. This mage will meet the blade of the Empire's justice. Ask Mal about the hermit. Mal claps his hands joyfully. This hermit is one of my personal heroes. He's up there with that cat I saw once. The one that stole a sweet roll from a sleeping guard. He gestures and his, and his troops split into... Oh, yeah. End of the Hermit's Forest. Malakip stares at the troops disappear into the cold fog. I suppose we must ignore our better judgment and warn this poor Hermit before he is discovered. And that's the goal. The mage hunting. Killing mages a core pursuit. Yeah. Fortunately, a mage is a cunning prey. While trudging through the snow, you hear a shout and the sound of swords being drawn. Do we look like mages to them, really? It's only a matter of time before the sounds of combat attract another patrol. All right, so we got timed combats in this one. I think, maybe I don't know. I'm just, I'm just glad we're not doing strength anymore. Or you know, where we had the oh, hand of fate has encountered a fatal error and must close. Well, that was interesting. I've never had that happen to me before. The game had a really bad crash, and you guys probably... I left a little bit of the audio glitch in, but very fatal crash, and we got reset. Do I really want to deal with those guys? I mean, I'm sure we're going to run into more of those cards, so let's go a different direction. Ah, Empire further in. Signs in order to guide Son the rest of a bitch. Of forces. Fortunately, you ah. You find a tree etched with a strange marking. Is this a sign pointing toward the hermit? The clean snow is marred by heavy footsteps. The Empire must be ahead of you. The Empire draws four days closer to the hermit. Oh yeah, the Empire is 35 days away. Not knowing what else to do, you press on. You don't want to run into those. Hey! Ah, this mage hunting seems interesting. Yes. You arrive at a signpost detailing the possible east and west. Good. This a perilous chance. chance. To set the mouse upon the cat. 
Right. Further into the forest, you hear a smattering of voices carried on the wind from somewhere to the east. You motion Malaclips to stay behind before cautiously approaching the voices. You spy a small empire party taking a break from their zealous manhunt. Obscured by fog and brambles, you consider your options. Steal their sword, or their shield, but they have, I believe, is an option at, at some point in this. If you stay hidden, you might learn more about the forest, but you also risk discovery. Stay hidden. Oh, they've changed it into a pendulum, because I swear, I thought it was a dice. Quickly, for haste breeds only failure. But we got huge success. A soldier whistles and sits down. It's a good thing the captain thought to give us these shields. We'd be wandering into blizzards and that blasted imp otherwise. You spy a shining shield resting against a boulder just in reach of your hiding place. Is this the enchanted shield the soldier mentioned? To your dismay, a soldier balancing an overflowing bowl of stew sits down in front of you, your hiding place. Buzzing with adrenaline, you can reconsider your options. Continue you to stay hidden, sneak away, steal the shield. Yup. Ah, fucking crap. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Who the blazes Keep are you? Practicing. You look up and lock eyes with the soldier pointing his sword at you through the brambles. The other soldiers scramble to their feet and draw their weapons. You'll think of a clever retort later. Okay. So yeah, we're against the clock in multiple ways here. With the the fact that we have to also not explore all the map because each step is a day that goes by. But yeah, they will draw attention. And so we have a minute to kill everybody here. Cleave your head off. Hey, Mal, I completely forgot to use your shield. Mal, are you close? Thank you. Nice! Oh, what's the matter? Come on! Oh, they're all dead. Didn't really need Mel's help for that. He's just kind of a security blanket at times like that. Can I still get the shield? You loot the bodies and hurried away. Can I still get the shield? I should hopefully Consider be able to get that shield. Carefully, really? If you would be worthy. Shield. Shield. Okay, or not. Fine. A sharp tooth? No! Fuck! No malice. I hate sharp tooth. A small blue imp materializes on the path ahead of you. It grins, revealing rows of needle like teeth. I am sharp tooth! The creature rushes at you, arms outstretched. You black, you back away from its enthusiastic embrace. Uh, undeterred, Sharptooth merely grins. I will move the forest around? Say so yes. Empire will fall behind ten days, or say no. Say no. Please, Sharptooth. Back to the bones. I the only reason why is because I want to get to that watchtower, and I fucking hate it. All right. I will move it around, it nods helpfully before completely defying your wishes. At least they'll be deterred by 10 days, right? They'll be... Yeah, Empire Falls 10 days behind. The forest spasms and the trees on the horizon shift back and forth as if being moved by an invisible hand. Seemingly content, Sharptooth simply fades from view, waving cheerfully all the while. This is basically Field of Poppies, but with a nice, friendly little imp. A man of the world! Thank you. Greetings, fellow traveler. A cheerful fellow clad in a brilliant yellow surcoat passes you on the road one day. The man gasps and bends down to gape at the artifact on your belt. Lovely, just lovely. He pulls out a hefty scroll. I've been documenting every nook and cranny of this beautiful land, and my soul is shaking with delight at the thought of sharing it with you. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. So, Winter Trail, Watchtower, General Store. Further in, Winter Trail. Further in, further in. Uh, the devilish forest, the hidden mages, blizzard, mage hunting, a perilous chance, blizzard, a perilous chance, mage hunting, fork in the road, further in, and no much exchange. Where the hell is my exit? What the fuck? Oh, the hidden mages? Maybe? Okay. May your vistas be breathtaking, your tree climbing be non-lethal. With an enthusiastic wave, the man shouts his heavy er, shoulders his heavy rucksack and continues his journey, whistling all the while. Uh, isn't that just lovely? Uh, what is what is 
perilous chance. Oh, we get a second chance. Oh, oh, look, they've changed how this works. So I can actually, you know, get a better detail of what I'm looking at here. I mean, I'm thinking it's going to have to be hidden mages. So we're going to go Gnomish Exchange, back to here, perilous chance, then hidden mages. That should do it. Not for contempt. You trespass on. Why you would have anything to do with them? But don't worry, I'm gonna equip. Oh, I can't equip it. Okay, never mind. Maybe the, I can exchange that. You trespass on gnomish ground, humans. A voice calls out as a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. The penalty for this transgression is death. Make your peace with your gods. Really, gnomes? I have to fight them. That's different. I thought I was exchanging with them. I don't know anything about these gnomes. These are new. These weren't here before. Holy shit. Look at these little guys. Why are they blue or purple? Fiercely territorial. Trespass in gnomish lands and face the consequences. Pesky, persistent, and impossible to hit. Gnomes cause snare. Evade to avoid, evade to avoid or struggle to break free. Gnomes can only be deterred with a finisher. Oh, great. Oh, and I don't even have Mal. Well. How am I supposed to, what the? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm just gonna kick him in the ass. Hold on. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Yep, dodge him. I'm gonna Randy Orton punt him. <laughs> That's great. I'm Randy Orton. RKO out of nowhere? Or is it just punts that he hasn't done in years? The battered gnomes pick themselves up from the battlefield and approach you cautiously. Alright, the penalty for this transgression is no longer death. We'd like to parlay. We seek arms to defend ourselves, a gnome declares loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you something. I'll give you some food for a helmet, one of the folk, small folk exclaims. I'll share the secrets of this land for a ring, another chimes in. The rewards depend on the equipment type traded. Give me a weapon I can wield and I can, wait, well, give me a weapon I can wield and one of, one for my brother. We've got gold, the toothless gnome calls out. The gnomes all loudly shout their other offers trying to drown each other out. Give them something. I'm gonna give them this encrusted mace. Are you sure you wish to trade these items away? Yes. You surrender the equipment to the gnome, satisfied they offer payment in return. Ten gold. Twenty gold. Fifteen gold. The toothless gnome looks perplexed. A mighty war machine, to be sure, but however will we wield it? He turns to his brother, and together with the other gnomes, they heave the weapon into the bushes and out of sight. You gain two fame, and I don't gain the token. Well, all right, then. Perilous chance. We know how this works. Yep, stay hidden. We have to get the precision, which is easy. E easy. Breathe. You have done well. <sighs> oh, thank God. I've been holding my breath that whole time. Yeah, that damned imp. Steal the shield. <laughs> this one is more difficult. Well, fucking hell. At least I only failed this one. Nervously, you reach for the shield. The soldier squirms uncomfortably and almost sits on your hand. Unfortunately, another soldier approaches and the pair begin an animated conversation about their callous day's pat lands. Steal the shield. So as long as I don't get the huge failures, I'm fine. I must stay and keep doing this. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. Our gruff voice gives the command to move out. You breathe a sigh of relief when the last soldiers trudge away from you and er, uh, damn it. I only get two chances at it. All right, well, on to the mages. Your supplies are running low. I know. Make your choices carefully. You follow the sound of screams and clashing metal to find a company of Empire soldiers tearing down tents and executing cowering mages. All right. Time to fight for some mages. We fight for the mages, for the mages have no tongues, even though they do. 
Mal! Come on! Surprise! Block this, buddy! I didn't think so. Nice try. Come on. Last one. And he's dead. Just like all the others. Poor fellow. Didn't know I hit him. So I haven't taken any damage yet, that's pretty funny. The mages are grateful for your intervention. This tent village is well hidden in the sweeping snow and fog. You can spend time here in exchange for resources. Thank you. Spend five days, draw one equipment card. Spend two days, draw one food gain card. Ask about the hermit, ask about sharp tooth. Turn back. Uh, let's spend two days to get some food. Spend a few days tending to a mage with the winter shivers. The healer instructs you to tap dust from a blue chalky rock over him every time he wakes. Mage, mages gift you with soft blocks of pounded fenlin wart mixed with syrup. The package smells faintly of cinnamon. Awesome. Continue on my journey. The mages point you vaguely in the hermit's direction. Even they are not certain of his whereabouts. Across the Silver River, through the Twin Oaks. Sure!